Hey, good morning, everybody. We're really fortunate here at One Mini Ranch to have our good friend John Brand from Buckaroo Leather back with us for another great Saturday to give us a, a heads up on how to economically and easily adorn your existing tack with the addition of consoles. Good morning, John. Good morning, Chuck. Hey, uh, I, <laughs> yeah, we've got, uh, John is going to demonstrate for us how easy it is, and he's using our grandson's saddle, which is kind of a plain western saddle, and John's going to show us how to add conchos in a couple of different places. Go ahead, John. Well, it all depends on the type of saddle that you might have in regards to if it has saddle strings. Now, this one actually is a combination of strings and screws. Okay, those, those are the strings there that you're referring right to, right? Saddle strings on your saddle. Okay, and then the other ones were what, John? The screw back type conchos. Okay, right there. If you screw it into, your, into the saddle, and replacing a lot of your saddles will have right here just a, uh, uh, like a bolt. Okay. You can take the bolt out and give a little close up here, Chuck, of the, the concho. The concho has a screw back in it, one of your options, or the, the slot for uh, the saddle screw. If you have a screw type, there is an adapter available that is threaded. You can thread it into the concho. Well, that's like one of those double back screws, a bolt yeah, and a screw. Okay. A wood screw. All right. That you can screw it into your tree and replace that existing concho. I see. Take okay. this concho out and put in the screw back. Uh huh. The other option is if you have saddle strings, all you do is untie the saddle string so that it's like this. Are you going to do one for us, John? Or is it? There you go. All right. And all you do is take the concho, flip it on through the slot, just like this, and then you retie the little knot that you see that was there previously. Now you have to remember what it looks like so you can put it back together. It's real simple, it's just a two knot. And then you have your fancy concho on. Alright, so so we've got a fancy concho on that one. Let me see if I can zoom in here. Take a look at the different options. This is iron, a rusted iron background, a little bit more of a rustic look. Well, I got a, I got a shaky hand here, John. Oh, I see. There you go. Uh huh. Or the antique. Okay. Very concho it has a lot of the old time look is is become fashionable. So it looks like it's not brand new and shiny. So so what we can do then, if we want to have a little dress up on our saddles for for a very small, modest. Uh, uh, Expense, I'm sure. Ten bucks to twenty dollars. You can do a lot concho. per concho. So if you got four conchos, you're you're changing your saddles look for forty or fifty bucks, right, John? Yeah, maybe eighty, depending on uh, okay. what fancy your style you might be using. Now the type of conchos you're showing us today, they're not stainless steel or or, or uh, silver or anything. They're I mean, this, silver. they are yeah. silver. silver. These are silver. Okay. In this particular, they vary it's depending on the price. The silver plate. Conchos run anywhere from uh, twelve to fifteen, sixteen dollars. Okay. Now this console here is a sterling, solid sterling overlaid uh, on iron. Okay. And that's looking more at about uh, twenty-five dollars retail. Okay. You can find those on our website. Any of these different styles I'm showing you today at www.buckarooleather.com. All right. All right. So, in other words, a hundred dollars. A person can change the look. Now, one of the things that's interesting is since we, a lot of people today in the horse world, like to kind of change things around, you could actually go six months with one set of silver and then give yourself another look later. Oh, and then people will always, I mean, you can have two different sets and just keep changing back and forth and uh, giving yourself a different different look and style. Now, let me focus in on that. You just change that one again on Kessler's saddle. Okay, that's with the nice, uh, what, the heavy iron, you said? R rusted, uh, old-time looking iron, yeah. Old-time looking iron, okay. Right, right, with a silver overlay. And this would apply to any saddle, even though this is a relatively inexpensive child's, uh, it's a full horse saddle, but it's, you know, it's built for the youngster.